start recording. Anything you give them as a suggestion, whether it's navel soaks, body massage, uh, yeah, foot, sorry. foot soaks, et cetera, hand soaks, et cetera, is still going to be absorbed into the bloodstream and into the into the cells. Yes. What they don't know is that they really are drinking it, but they're yeah. not thinking they're drinking it because they're used to drinking it through the mouth. Yeah, I think he can cope with that. I think he, he'll be able to cope with that. Now, is it okay because he doesn't leave the same lifestyle as me? Would it be better to give mine? Or is he, even though his diet isn't as great like as mine, he does smoke marijuana um, a little bit, you know, would you, would it be okay to use his or would I, would it be better for me to? Okay, offer? so. You do know the answer because it's an intuitive medicine. And thank you for asking me. <laughs> yes, uh, yeah, it is an people have me. People on this planet have me set up as the Mr. Know-it-all. And I've got, <laughs> I've got the perfect answer for everybody. But it's really simple. Once yeah. he starts using uh, Shivambu in his life, whether it's yeah. oral or topical, things will start changing chemically, yeah. which means cravings and addictions start. Uh, leaving. Yeah. I mean, things start happening biologically even before the mind tries to take a hold of it. Yes. Because oh, Shivambo has its own intelligence. It does. It's incredible because it has rid me of so much crap that I used to carry with me. And I, although, you know what, I was really conscious after our last class and I, I, re I realized something that I, you know, I'm heavily addicted on some food still. I, I, I don't have it all the time, but I think I watched something that Alexis did yesterday and that just, something in me just clicked. And I realized, I, I understood something and it was like, wow, it's really profound for me. Cause I, I feel like, not like a reward. I don't know if that's the right word, like a little piece of chocolate at the end of the day or at the weekend, have a little whatever. And then I thought, why am I doing all this good work? And why do I need that? Because actually the next day, because I do do the protocols every morning, I see, I see the effects of this food that the difference is that when I'm just fruitarian, raw vegan, yep. how incredible I feel in the morning. And actually it's not that bad. I can get in the bathroom relatively quickly, but when I don't, I don't I'm in there ages. Mm -hmm. Because my body is just like clogged up from this rubbish. Right. Um, your, your body is your litmus paper. Your it body, is. Your body is your laboratory. And it if, is. If you're paying attention, the only thing left for you to sort out is all the uh, excuses that your mind's still holding on to to va uh, validate eating or taking or whatever that um, habit is. Yeah, it's terrible. It's, 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 it's terrible for me to see that even though I'm like, I've embraced it, that I still harbored those little addictions and felt like, oh, I need a reward almost for like, I don't know why, because what reward is better than feeling the way I do right now? So for the first time in ages, I actually didn't have any chocolate. I didn't have anything bad yesterday. Not that I have a lot. It might be like a small square, but still I thought about it and I thought, do I actually really want that? And I thought, no, I don't want it. So I've turned a corner mentally with you that. Are, you are reclaiming your mind. I am. You're telling your mind how to think instead of being a slave to your belief systems. Yes. Yeah. And, and that's going to empower the heck out of you. It's empowering. Wow. It is. It, it's. You just don't realize how conditioned you are, but you see it so clearly when you look around you and it's like, wow, I was like that. That feels so alien to me now, just seeing that behavior and thinking, well, actually, you were like that. You used to do that. We all did. I can go through a grocery store now, and I just walk through the aisles just to see, like, historic. Uh, the store to me is kind of like a museum of ancient American diet and history. And I walk through and go, who eats this crap? This is in a can, a jar, a box, a bag. And I just go back and forth, just go, check, don't need that, check, don't need that. And I end up at the produce section every time. Sometimes I go straight to the produce section. Sometimes I go, I'm just going to go down memory lane to see what I don't miss. Yeah. The same it, with the nutrition is. section. And then, you know what? It gets you thinking that parents give their children the cereal with all the sugar and all the 
oh, the stuff in that cereal, that breakfast cereal, just makes you shudder. And a kid, a child is starting their day off with that sugar overload and milk, uh, like dairy, and oh, oh, and every day just starting that instead of like maybe giving a piece of fruit have a banana, have an apple, have an orange, or, you know, it's like, you well, it's know. It's interesting it, you should say that because if you, they even tested this, if you put out two plates of food in front of kids, one plate is cooked food, the other plate is fruit, they'll take the fruit first time, every time. Wow. But what's because happening is. they know. They, they know what they like. Yeah. They may not intuitively know why it is they like fruit. They just yeah. know they're drawn to it. But what's happening yeah. is the parents in their current understanding and awareness thinking, well, that's what they would eat. That's what they would feed the kids. But the kids are a whole new generation and the kids are not you, mom and dad. Yes. Yeah. And they know. And they, they know. Actually, the kids they are too small, too small to fight it. Yeah. Sad, really. So Sad. it's a really thrill. It's a really thrill to see the hippie kids and, and yeah. the vegan who raised their kids. Uh, I, I, this, one of my teachers, he raised his daughter for the first six years of her life in the forest without a community. He named wow. his daughter Spirit. I met her when she was six years old, totally at peace with herself. Dad's on stage giving a talk and she's on the floor, on the stage, drawing pictures, unaffected by the audience. Wow. That's so, amazing. You said her name was Spirit? He named her Spirit. Beautiful. That is just beautiful. So, um, I mean, we're looking at a whole new generation of mothers and fathers and teachers. Yeah. And that's part hey, of it. Hey, Tom, our... heard your doggy. <laughs> yeah, there's a hello, Vienna. Uh, there's a okay. thunderstorm. Oh, is he scared? She... Oh, she's a girl, isn't it? She's Sadie, yeah? She's scared. Yes. Oh, Lord. I, I guess, but she barks at it like. It's an intru yeah. uh, intruder or something, yeah. Yeah, protecting you. Yeah, I love yeah. her. Sweet one. Oh, well, thank you. She's oh. she's my girl. The girl. I understand you. I, I, me and you, we, we're the same, Tom. Like, yeah. my children there. My children just have fur. That's all. <laughs> fur and paws. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exactly. Uh, the things like well you saw the thing lucky it wasn't on record that day uh the things i the way i speak to her you know if people aren't used to that they find it really bizarre but i don't care right, right. <laughs> that's hello, great pn is in the house hello pn by the way pn is an innovator uh an incredible innovator she sent me a picture of her with with material a little bigger than that over her eyes, and she was doing an eye mask. I said nice. that was brilliant. That was well done. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> everybody who comes to these classes, and I do mean everybody, is a unique soul with with exceptional gifts. Hi, Pia. Uh, yeah, you can see that, can't you? Some incredibly oh, yes. special Hi, people. Pia. Hi. Hello, everyone. Hey, Hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So we're waiting for Alexis and Mika, and I'm going to show you uh, what's about to come out on my uh, Amazon book page. This is with the this book is the mat is a handbook, and it's with the publisher right now. Beautiful. When's it come out? Is this backwards? No, no. All right. Oh. I'm wanting it to come out as soon as possible so that I can order and ship. Uh, four dozen of them to the Oceanside Retreat. So the organizer and some other people who've already wanted, claimed like a dozen or so, they can have their copies. Wonderful. So if he gets it uh, published in the next couple of days, uh, it'll be available in the next couple of days. Oh, wow. Yeah, so we'll have access to these as well to give to potential clients. Yes, and uh, I was directed to keep the price down to, to six bucks, five ninety nine. Oh, wow. All right. All my other books are selling for 20, but this one is so that everybody can grab a bunch of copies and hand them out in person. Yeah. Yeah, good idea. Which nobody's done. I was going to ask Harry and some of the other mm -hmm. authors if for one 24 hour period, can we drop all drop the price down to like $5 on our books? Oh, that's a really good idea. And that way all the books go all out in one day and then you can put the price yeah. back. Yeah. 
Well, it's also about, you know, giving and, and, and sometimes offering in that way so that we can spread the word. So, yeah, I'm wholeheartedly with you on that. I've had to talk to some of the people who've been reaching out to me on Instagram and Telegram and all these social medias. Uh, they all want free advice. They all want free consultations. They, they're just like going on like I'm the answer guy and I'm just going to put everything aside and start talking to them. So I was letting people know that, you know, I'll talk to you for a little bit, but if you want to go really deep and do a really deep healing, we're going to have to discuss a fee. Yeah. I'm glad you brought this up because obviously, you know, I'm, I'm literally feeling that I'm, as soon as I've finished this course, I'm putting my website together. I'm getting things rolling and I'm expecting from that people to come. So I'm really want to just roll with it. Uh, and this is something because I don't struggle with it because I know my worth and I really believe that, you know, although the training is quite brief, I feel that, you know, I trust myself. I trust my intuition. I trust you. I trust all of this. <laughs> so I know the calling is so strong. Yes. It's too powerful to hold me back. So nothing can hold me back now. Uh, so I'm really glad you're saying that because I, I, I feel prior to this, I might have thought, oh, about, oh, because, you know, sometimes they, they like to say, oh, well, if you're spiritual, you shouldn't really charge anything or you should be giving it, you know, free. No, or, no we're going to uh, You do give that. things free. You do yeah. offer things free. I want to offer a, a sliding scale Which so I that do. people that are struggling or, you know, can still come to me. I don't want to say no to anybody. But, you know, equally, I, I've still got to you know survive i've got to, you know i've got to live so so yes yeah, so i'm glad it's, you brought that it's, up it's the value and we're going to discuss that uh, if we have time today great because I, i've heard that a lot from the community why oh, really? you yeah uh, why you charge why do you charge p is free i said that part is free <laughs> yeah, yeah you know that part you don't need anybody yes now, however right. to know what to do and when you get, get stuck and how to answer people's questions and how to present it to the, the individuals, to the media, uh, how to create a career, all that stuff. Uh, I spent the last five years yeah. learning and learning and researching and, and writing and getting it down. Yeah, of course. And, yeah. you know, where else am I going to get the money to pay for my trips and to keep this nonprofit going? Yeah. Alexis is in the house. Alexis. Alexis, who does a wonderful Vienna impersonation. <laughs> Alexis, darling, come on. Alexis, my love. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hi. Hi. I'm so oh, sorry. You. I'm having like some major uh, faux pas going on this morning with my internet. Oh, still? Yeah, I don't know what's going on with them, but it's like at the worst, the worst speed I've ever seen it. It's pretty bad. Mm -hmm. So we well, were just trying to handle that. What's going on? Everybody good? We're all checking we're all in. We're all, Thank you. Good. We're all checking in. Uh, I, I announced that this book is about to go live. Oh. Oh, yes. Awesome. All right. That's it's at cool. the publisher right now. Okay. Being published. All right. So I need to get some copies of some other things here coming up. So I'll be ordering some books from you. Marvelous. I got to get my marvelous we were talking about let's get into now i don't know if star's going to make it she's been pretty tight hi up. tom hi pn hey hi. alexis <laughs> hello great show. great show yesterday yeah oh, amazing. Thank you. loved it yeah we're gonna have guess who we're gonna have on i think mike perry's gonna come on in a couple weeks um does so, anybody know mike perry i, ta I take it he's, he's not the ufc fighter Mike Perry, I take it. Yeah. <laughs> no, he um, well, he's lucky. like I think he's probably late twenties, and he's on Instagram, and he's talking about orange therapy, kind of like those girls from Hawaii. It's really like refreshing to see young people yeah. talking about this stuff. Yeah. Amazing. So okay. he he's kind of inspired. He's inspired me in a lot of ways. Like I didn't know about um, Brother Sage when I found him, and then I found out about Brother. But he kind of showed me about the the nose sniffing and the vagus nerve and all that stuff. So he's very um, passionate about urine therapy, which is amazing. I'm excited to talk to him. 
Uh, he's yeah. just a researcher like we all are, you know. Right, right. Um, and, it, like, yeah. and the Sorry. young lady's channel, is that Sarah? What, what's yes. her name? Sarah, Sarah. Smile. Okay. Yeah. She's obviously. I love her. I love her. She's into She's it awesome. too. Yeah. Yes, yes. Well, she and I connected because we're both from Louisiana. And I heard her one night going off about something in her kitchen. She played a video about um how her life had changed and i just can i just felt so i resonated with her so much because she's a coon ass like me like i'm from you know new orleans so i'm like right. where did this girl come from and why did i not know you when i was there that's awesome so she's yeah she's like a, a really good support system yeah and brother uh, sage um taught her too so she's certified through here as well Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, okay. I didn't yeah. see that class. She was in one of the first class, and so was uh, Megan wow. McDonald. Wow. Oh, were they, were they in the same class? Because I watched that one. Uh, just double check the videos. Uh, this is my eighth course, so I don't remember who was in what class with that. <laughs> right, right, right. Okay. I'm pretty they sure Sarah had to do hers alone, she said, right? Didn't she have to do hers, but just you and her? Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, that's right. She was in her closet with her dog. Yes, in her closet. Yeah. Yes. And, but and since every now and then she'd have to hear the kids or the husband outside and excuse me, I gotta go check something in. <laughs> yeah. That's hilarious. Oh, that's funny. Alexis, I just gotta say I loved that. I absolutely loved watching that yesterday. It so inspired me, made me I was saying to Brother Sage earlier that I, my throat chakra was closed up until recently for a number of reasons I had like a lot of trauma that I hadn't dealt with and I was fearful of social media I didn't want to expose myself I just very private person I've always been like that yeah. and it just made me want to like erupt with joy because I want to now you have inspired me you Sarah and your guest as well he was amazing to to do this kind of get on the platform and I have been guided divinely guided that I should be doing something like that and I was first I was like oh I'm not sure about it but I would love to and when I'm ready yeah. I would love to have you on a as a guest yes no um, ditto I, I think it's so powerful that we're all coming together and we're all being brought, you know, to that place where we're, we're just dropping the ego because I mean, yeah. obviously yeah. I'm no supermodel and I'm getting on there. Like, you know what guys, like I, I'm saying this because this is like life changing information that has helped me in so many ways. I just want to share that. It doesn't matter about yeah. the vessel that it's coming through, but it matters that you know how important your vessel is. And yeah. saying that and, and finding that voice is a powerful thing. And I started using um, Neville Goddard's techniques where I just started imagining myself oh, you speaking that. to people about the things that I was passionate about and not, um, not looking at it through the eyes of ego anymore. So that helped a lot. For me, when I was younger, I had a lot of, um, I mean, there wasn't social media then, but I had a lot of people, I had a hard time from a lot of females when I was younger and uh, a lot of judgment and a lot, a, just a lot of nasty, you know, incidents where I just was quite a quiet person, didn't call for, but I'd be, I, I just seemed to attract a lot of that kind of negativity. And it just made me, as I got older, shy away from it. But you know what? it's you know it's all coming from a place of love like you wanting to yeah. share it and wanting to get it out there and and even now to a point where if people do want to laugh or whatever they want to do I'll take it yeah if they want to say I'm weird fine because I've got my beautiful family here yes. and I see that love and support and I think when you've got that yeah where's Mika <laughs> when you've got that it's a game changer it kind of helps you blossom flourish and you want to get out there and say so I'm happy to have all of you as guests on my yes. little channel when I get it going yes I would love so, to be a guest that would be oh, awesome thank you so much because yeah, yeah this is a big deal for me so I've got to just psych myself up but I'm feeling like yeah you really inspired me so both you Sarah wow I love oh. how you do that it's just amazing okay, here's a little suggestion for you interviewers and you <laughs> talk show podcasters or whatever you want to call yourself um it, it, it's important for the mind to, to use words and languaging uh, that empowers you and doesn't intimidate you in any way. 
I was totally uh, intimidated by the word interview. Oh my God, this guy, big name is going to interview me. Oh, this television station is going to interview me, blah, blah, blah. So I changed the word to a conversation that matters. Yeah. I'm going to have a conversation that matters with Alexis or Vienna. And that just, it just, it just took the heat off my head. It that's made it that's good. So you're just I having like a simple conversation like you'd have with your, your dog, your mother, your kids, who doesn't matter. You want to take the charge off it. It's like, for the longest time, I was intimidated by standing up in front of groups of people. So the universe put me in front of 1,500 people. I'm going, okay, this is the moment of truth. <laughs> yeah. So you get used That's... to uh, softening it, make it easier. Ironically for enough, I did when I was younger because I, I, I was a, a fashion advisor and a, a personal shopper. And I used to do a lot of fashion shows and stuff like that in front of the public. And I did actually do public speaking courses. But that was many decades ago. So I have got it in the back of my mind there, you know, but I think it's about just being real. It's not about being staged or yeah. anything like that. It's just got to come from the heart. Like you say, like you girls do it. It's just you know that's the way to do it when it's this subject you know when it's something like this organic yeah, yeah that's exactly. how we we don't we don't prepare questions or no. anything we just organically talk to each other and that's that's really meaningful to me because i'm not i don't i'm not one to script like brother sage he doesn't script anything he no. just you know you take it as it organically unfolds and i think that's important for people to to not have a script, but to feel that authenticity coming through and that we're just people having a conversation. And, and uh, I learned so much from others who do that. It really does make a difference that it not be tied up in a pretty little box with a bow, you know, No, yeah. that you're just talking and being real with each other, you know. Speaking of communion. <clears throat> oh, yeah. oh my gosh. I was rushing in here. I didn't grab my water. Hold on. <laughs> Okay, she's gonna go TT and come right back. <laughs> oh, <sure. laughs> oh, by golly, ne never, never a lack of uh, uh, amusement in this group. <laughs> um, no doubt. Uh, well, what's happened to Mika today? She not? Um... She's not here yet. S uh, okay. Star has not been able to get some time off for the last three classes. Oh. That's a shame. And what I want, before we do the community, I just want to remind you, Vienna, I guess it's going to be true for everybody, is you've already answered the call. You've already stepped, stood up, stepped up, said, this is what you're going to do for the world as a urine therapy teacher, right? You've already made your declaration. What's mm -hmm. next is roll up your sleeves because they're coming. Ready. I have, I have more clients <laughs> than I can deal with right now, so you guys can have the excess. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready. I'm I'm wondering if anyone's going to see the tag on Facebook. Uh, Y'all got tagged too, right? Uh, what was it? Oh, what yeah. was what it? tag was that? Well, I, uh, Brother Sage tagged us on Facebook. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The um, one I responded to. That, that actually, yes, yes. That actually yeah. made me a little nervous for some reason. Uh, well, just because yeah. it's... You're going to be seen out there in a motley crew. It's out there. <laughs> I get you, Tom. I, I'm surprised I'm not feeling like that because I would, I really would have expected to feel the same way. And be, believe you me, this shift has happened in a matter of days. Because wow. initially, cool. when, when I first started the course, because I'm doing another one, but it's recorded and it's private. So it's only for the people on the training course. And even then I struggled. Oh. I wasn't even opening up last because I had so much going on. And then I thought to myself when this one started, because I know Brother Slave immediately almost posts it on YouTube. And I thought, oh, my God, how am I going to deal with that? And you know what? It's been actually quite, it's been okay. I don't know what's changed, but it will change okay. for you. I promise you it will change for you. And it, when it does, it just feels so good. You'll just be, feel free. You'll feel liberated. And you won't... I don't like the word not care. It's not a not care. It's I'm who I am. I'm exactly. doing my thing here. And it's with love. Everything is doing, it's from within. It's from within. It's here. So, you know, it's a good thing. And people right. are going right. to thank you and going to be so grateful because there's people out there right now that are waiting for you, specifically you, to let this journey unfold for them. And I really believe that. And the people who cannot stand your light or your presence or your truth, they're going to walk away. 
Yeah. You're right. going to attract right. your tribe. You're going to attract like vibration, like similar consciousness. And the people that match you will start showing up. Yeah. That's right. Love that's that's right. the answer I give to people say, where are my, where's my spiritual community? Where's my tribe? Well, they're waiting for you to show up. Yeah. It's they're, exciting. They're all, they're all sitting around going. Anyway, remember, we're a tribe. Don't worry. We are a tribe here. So we've got, and that's why I want to carry on with the group because I, if you're Absolutely. having a moment like that, just say, for example, one of us has been trolled or whatever. I don't know. And that, that's the thing off the fear I had before. I don't have that fear anymore. I just will block you. I'll send you love and be on your way and I'm just going to carry on. So at least then we've got a safe space where we can get it out and say whatever we want to say to each other, knowing we can hold that space for each other with so much love and understanding Absolutely. because we're all going through this together. And we love you and we know you can do this. And when they're levit oh, laying all that trolling vibe on you and they're sending you all that heckler stuff, you just yeah. look at them very calmly, look straight at them and say, do you want a hug? <laughs> Sounds like you're having a tough day. Maybe you need some love. Yeah. Although I have just bathed in my own water. So you still want a hug? <laughs> <laughs> right on, right on. So I'm going to read the prayer one more time. So grab right. your water. Mika, grab your water. She, she's like, me. hi, Mika. She's got, a, she's got a jar in her car. She is so cool. <laughs> <laughs> all right here we go sacred water prayer page uh, x1v i take this water of life i take this water of life I take this water of life you're rocking it okay i declare this water of light i declare, declare this, this water, water, of, water light. of light as i bring this water within this body as i bring this water bring within this, this, water this body, body it allows me to glow it, it allows, me, allows glow. me to glow i take this water of light I take this water of life. I declare it the water of God. Declare it the water, water, of, God. The water of God. Water of creator, creator, source, energy, whatever you like. I am the master of all that I do and all that I am. I am the master, the master of, of all that I do and that all I am. So be it. So be it. So be, so be it. it. I'm not. Cheers. Bamboo. Man. Uh, Namaste. My, my urine, my choice. Namaste. <laughs> Right. <laughs> so here's some quick questions. We're gonna we're gonna get a bunch of material in today, and here comes PN making a return visit. Did everybody get their certificates? Yay! Thank you so much. Oh, did you send them via email? I did. That, that oh, okay. I, did. I have not gotten it yet, but I'll look. All right. If there's any spelling incorrections that need correction, let me know. Tom, we forgot to put the colon after your middle name. So we're going to get that corrected. And I think everybody was right, except for PN's name has to be changed because my graphics designer forgot to put an E at the end of Ann. Who knew? All right, here's a question. When you're away, do you collect your Shivambu? When you're in your car, when you're at a restaurant, when you're out in the public, um, what do you do with it? What do you do with your water? Collect it. You collect it. You have something on you in a purse, a backpack, in your glove yeah. box. That's right. Yeah. Take you your don't. bag with you. Yeah. Take <laughs> your bag so that if you... Yes, well, I, I was, <laughs> At work, I was taking the cup but um, with me in my bag and then mm. I was drink... Well, I was, first, I wasn't taking the bag and I was just drinking it all quickly. Uh, and then I thought, well, this doesn't work. So I take the bag now, take it in there, fill it up, put it in a little bag in my bag, and then go off I go. So it's just concealed nicely in my bag. Perfect. Uh, and in a little plastic bag as well, just in case it spills out anywhere. Okay, since Vienna, since you're talking, let me ask you this question, because it <laughs> took me a while to get this out of my head. You know, you guys have the last, there's the last bit of uh, resistance that we have about being really, really honest about our practice. And not feeling, yeah. not feeling any intimidation or any kind of self self consciousness. How does it feel when you're drinking your urine in your car and someone walks by you? Do you hide it or you just go, "I know what's real. You don't." <clears throat> Pop it back. I mean, how do you feel when you you might think there's some eyes watching you when you're out in public? I don't feel anything. I just drink it. 
I feel absolutely fine. I feel empowered. Mm-hmm. I do too. Good. It is. It's a. It, it is an empowering thing, and it could be lemonade. They don't know. You know, there's yeah. no way for people to know. So it could be I, beer, root beer, exactly, or beer. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Usually, I'm collecting and and drinking immediately if I'm out in public, though. So it's in private. It's not. You know. Okay. It's just easier that way. I know what you mean. When I'm working, it's just easier to collect it and just drink it instantly and then just carry on with what I need to get on with. Right, you're done. Um, yeah, but yeah, no, no, no. It's, it's empowering. It's wonderful. Definitely. All righty. Um, okay, let's go to the book. I'm going to rock and roll on the book today. So uh, if we go a little bit fast, you'll have to understand, just keep up. Since you guys are pee drinkers, you can keep up like the speed of, speed of light. Uh, we're on page. It's a myth. Page. Yeah, what, Tom? Uh, nothing. I, I'm, something about the speed of light. No. Okay. Right. <laughs> Bookmark that thought. We'll get back to it. Page 173. I'm just going to jump around here because we want to get to the future and then to the part on the jokes and see whatever we can cover between now and the time uh, that this is over with. Um, How a teacher prepares for a UT session is as important as the teacher as it is for the client. With the general understanding of Oren therapy from studying the manual, page 173, and other UT resources, personal experience in teaching AUT, you are already an AUT teacher. The work begins when you are present. Really listening with a client, following your intuition, and knowing and or trusting that the session is perfect in every way. You no longer have to think about what to say, what to do, because Source is directing you. In this chapter, we explore the use of the breath, meditation, centering, and trusting one's inner knowing or guidance before, page 174, starting a session with a client. Be calm, centered, and present gives you deeper insight into a client's emotions that arises from unconscious beliefs, programming, and mental patterns that are at the core of their health problems. And I've seen this for the last umpteen decades when I work with clients. They're focusing on the disease. They're not focusing on the cause. So for you to be able to take them down to where they first started to get the illness based on their emotions that were never expressed or resentment for people, or whatever it is that caused that to manifest in the first place, uh, it's terrific to be able to go that deep with people, you know, if you're willing to do that. Because otherwise, it's just a Band-Aid. We want to get down to it so that we can do a permanent healing. I love give, that. Give, give people yeah. their life back. All right, page 174. All names and labels of what the medical system calls a disease is based on a diagnosis or theory which comes from their education and is merely a suggestion. According to Don Miguel Ruiz, author of The Four Agreements, you guys have read that? Mm-hmm. It's a good one. Four, no, agreements. I Four agreements. I don't think no, I've read that. No, Always do your either. best. Tell the truth. Do your best. Don't assume anything. Don't take anything personal. Did I miss anything, Alexis? It's been a while since I've read it, but yeah, that sounds about right. Um, okay, yeah. so he calls, what he does, he calls uh, modern medical practice a form of black magic or hypnotic suggestion. Because you go to the doctor and they say, well, you got diabetes or whatever it is, right? And you go in agreement with that guy, you just gave your power away. You, he's he's created right. it. He calls it black magic. That's what I was just I saying agree. in the beginning, like in the, before I the trial started to you, uh, Brother Sage, what that doctor said to my brother on the phone yesterday, implanting this nonsense in his mind. Uh, and it, yeah, it's so abundantly clear. It is like a form of black magic, as far as I'm it concerned. It is, but we have not been trained up until this time for us to question their so-called uh, um, ways and their cult on authority. So one of the things you've had to learn in the last couple of years is don't take anything for face value. Yeah. Right. Dig a little deeper, listen to your heart, you'll figure it out. All right, here we go. Uh, Being present with clients causes insights and guidance to go deeper, be more accurate. And there is Mika making a return visit. Uh, We are bringing hope, courage, strength, and motivation to every client. Mastering the daily practices teaches you how to teach others how to master the discipline needed to heal and accomplish anything. Remember, we're teaching multi-generationally. So when you're teaching somebody, you want to think of how they're receiving it so that someday they'll teach other people. 
We're bringing hope, courage, and I just read that. Using your own breath and meditation practices or rituals before or during a session sets the stage or energy for you to get the most out of every session, 175. It's a good idea to set aside time or lay or sit down and practice doing a minimum of 30 connected breaths every day. Spend at least 20 to 30 minutes meditating, take a walk quietly in nature, and be still and silent in mind, energy, and body. Breathe. Let go of all that matter that doesn't really matter. I use that when I'm with my clients. Let go of all that matter that doesn't really matter. You can leave the baggage at the back of the journey where you start or even hauling it. You know, <laughs> you know, don't carry that. It is very important in counseling or coaching clients to teach them that yogic practices, these practices, this supports them through all their adjustment period they are facing along their journey. Teaching others to practice daily conscious connected breathing creates calm and joyous humans who are spending conscious breath work are spreading conscious breath work to countless numbers of people during their life journey. Other centering practices, which we're going to be doing at our upcoming retreat, include Tai Chi, Qi, Qi Gong, chanting, meditation, laughing, dancing, doing art projects like sculpting and painting, or drawing pictures. We're also going to include affirmations uh, classes on the use of affirmations, and Catherine is going to teach us tapping. Mm. Nice. I've, heard good, I've heard good things about that. Yes, mm. so these are good things to go look up and try out. Uh, every student will get inspired to either share or in therapy with others or become a UT teacher someday. Always look at the big picture of UT for all humanity and every person is affecting the evolution for future generations. So this is a peek into Oren, an Oren session. Uh, clients are seeking you for guidance counsel in page 177 on their healing team. They want you on their team. So invite the client to breathe, shuffle their feet, clear the mind so they are present with you and ready to get started. Returning a client's mind to balance moves their thoughts away from conflict, hopelessness, and fear to a mind open to the possibility of being healthy, happy, and free again. At this point, you can begin inquiries or just listen. So on page 178 and 179, these are some of the typical questions that you ask during a session. What are your health concerns? What do you eat? What are the sizes? How many a day? How often? How late? These are basic questions that if you're paying attention, you can find out why they're sick. Yeah. And you're also be taking a lot of notes so that you can get your intuition to give you insights so you can make suggestions. If you're listening, but you're not listening, you're going to miss an opportunity to, to give them guidance. This is why I like this work, because it forces you to stay present with people. Like, I do a lot of body work, and so you got to be very present about what muscle you're in, what in, what point you're on, how their breath is operating. There's a lot goes on during massages, other than just pressing, and, and that's it. And a good massage therapist will do this, that kind of detail work. All right, so that's... This is the part on the um, looking into a session. I'm not going to go into great detail, but you get to read it when you get a chance. What I did in these couple of chapters with the, with the clients, with the session, is basically give everybody a peek into what my sessions are like. So you can see how to form your own. <coughs> so we're going to skip over to page... If uh, page 194, oh, we've got 45 minutes. Okay, page 194. How many of you are thinking of doing this professionally? Everybody. Yay. <laughs> okay. well, if I you hope so. It, you already are doing it. Yes. All right. You may not have put more into it, like Vienna's going to build a website, and everybody's going to find ways to get their name, their work, their contact information out to the world. I had a buddy of mine, he, he comes here and he plays chess with my roommate. He says, I really could use a better practice. I really could use more clients. I said, do you have an online presence yet? No. I said, well, start with a page. Start building content so people can find you other than just locally. Yes, that's so, important, absolutely. For the people going, well, there's not much work here in, in your town, you're going, why you're limiting your work to just your town. Mm. Thanks to the internet, you've got clients everywhere. Yeah, that's the great thing about technology. There are some great things about technology. 
and that's one of them. <laughs> yes. We're not going to the dark side of technology, but the good side. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So basically, professionally, let's go to page 196. This is the client's role. This is what he or she is all about. A teacher leads the interaction. As an ex expert, they give information or recommend a course of action. The teacher helps the client to achieve a skill or avoid a particular action, such as unhealthy choices and diet and drugs, etc., etc. Instead of eating mucus-forming, acid-forming, inflammatory, or human-made foods, you'll suggest that they eat living foods, fast, and take enemas or practice meditation. Now, I've tried every approach over the last 40 years to get people to move into raw foods and to be a vegan and to do fruit. And you know, food has a stronghold on people's minds, mm. right? So I've tried everything from saying, you know, if you eat the meat and you eat the dairy, it's acid forming, it's inflammatory, it creates more mucus. And I was giving them all the reasons why not to eat it, but their justifications were too strong. So sometimes what it takes for people to hear this kind of stuff is a life-threatening illness. Yeah. Or a breakup exactly. of a relationship or the death of a relative. Yeah. So it's a wake-up call. That's what they call it, don't they? It is a wake-up call. And yeah. hopefully people you work with don't have to have it so dramatic. Mm. So they can get the lesson sooner. The counselor facilitates. The counselor encourages a client to do most of the talking while the counselor listens, often taking notes during the consultation. These notes give clues, insights, understanding of the depth of a client's cause of their health condition. The counselor facilitates the sessions. They do not make a decision for the client, but most certainly the counselor does not give advice, but rather makes general suggestions. Sometimes a client changes their mind on the course of action, and a counselor's responsibility is to support and assist them through the process. The roles are very different between teaching and counseling. A teacher's main job is to talk and instruct while a client listens. A counselor's job is to listen, guide, and empower the client. In short, the difference between teaching and counseling are the words direction or facilitation. Teaching focuses on directing an action, and counseling focuses on facilitating decisions or next actions. While coming to the closure or completion of every session, be sure to allow time for the client to express or communicate anything, especially if they are unclear about what was discussed or what to expect. Ask the client if they wish to schedule another session and go deeper into the healing work with you, and this leads to the follow-up. Typically, I'll reschedule uh, a week later. So, and then after that, what do you suggest then? So how, how does it work after that? Because obviously, then you can't just leave them. So you do it with the first one, then you do it about seven to ten days later. Mm -hmm. And then after that, they would still need guiding along, wouldn't they? Well, it, it takes as many sessions as it takes to cut okay. through. Because I was thinking that in, when we were talking about charging was to have an initial fee, have a quick consultation, just a free chat to see if we're the right fit and they want to proceed with it. And then after that, book them in if they're happy, they want to proceed, then book them in for 90 minutes or whatever it is for their first one, and then charge them less for the consecutive ones that follow, if it's a regular thing. You could you do start. that. You could do that. I start off with what I call a meet and greet. Okay. We spend about 30 minutes. We get to know each other. I get to ask questions. We get to, you know, get a feel for each other. And if they go, yeah, this is great. I'd like to have a session and let's schedule. Then you discuss the fee with okay. the ability of it being negotiable. Okay. That's up to you. I mean, I get $108 for a session. And I understand when people don't have that at that particular time. Yes. So break it up into payments or they can give me a price that feels good for them. So you have one price. You don't have a sliding scale. You just say, that's the price. But if you're struggling, let me know. And then we can sort something out. Well, that's, that's what goes into the sliding scale because they can offer you or make another proposal. The other thing is I sell packages. Okay. Yeah. But people want to buy five, seven, ten, whatever. Then okay. the price that's a good idea. Cheaper. It's going to be cheaper. Yeah, I like that. No, it's just I've seen other practitioners, not with this obviously, but they do it. Like, say they might say one that's 111, and then it goes down to 77, and then it goes down to. Do you see what I mean? So I just wanted to see how you did it, really. Um, but obviously, I um, 
that sounds like a good idea because I don't want to turn anyone away. But equally, I, 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 you know, I need to earn a living as well at the same time. So, right. yeah, that seems to work. You can, you can see, see it's, it's only a matter of win-win for you and the client. So yeah. if you're charging, say, 108, but they only want to pay you 75 and you're comfortable with that, go along with it. If they offer something that's way too low, you get to say, well, can you bump it up? I mean, you get to slide it either way. Yeah, okay. Until everybody feels like it's a win. Yeah. Thank I've you. never seen I've never seen your um, packages listed. Is that on Shivambu Hut or where do you list your your information for your services? Well, Good I question. have my fees at sage.com, but I haven't listed the packages because that I do case by case. Oh, oh I got you. Okay. So do you say on your website packages available? Mm -hmm. Siri. Oh, okay. Siri. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, lovely. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So we got we got about 45 minutes before we take a break. More or less. We're gonna to go to page 201. Now I'm comfortable with the media because I majored in radio and television. That was my, my field of study in college. And I minored in English. So I got comfortable working with the media, knowing who to talk to, how to get a story pitched to them and all that. And if you decide that you want to go that and you want to communicate with radio, television, print, media, uh, it's going to be awesome for not only your practice, but for uh, the movement in general. Not quite there yet, but I've got a feeling once I start the ball rolling and I've done, I will review that in six months time, six to eight months. And yeah, you might see me in the national press. <laughs> I'm only joking. I'm joking. But you know, I'm I'm open to whatever unfolds. You know, if, it gets, if I feel confident enough, if I feel confident enough, and I just know that there's sometimes you know you can't. Oh, thank you, Mika. Uh, you can't always trust the way the press will interpret what you're going to say. Harry is a good example of that. Are they want to just you know sensationalize? the certain points and make it aged urine er uh, disgust sisters disgusted you know that kind of thing um is but still all publicity is good publicity i suppose it's all um, it's all good if you guys want to get me into the national Enquirer, uh, <laughs> to talk to the uh, to the tablets. yeah 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 i'm not ready yet but you know what i never thought i'd be feeling like this so soon where i am now so who knows in six months time bring it on what I say <laughs> and funny enough I remember um one of the things that kind of took me back when I watched one of your UT conferences was that there was a gentleman who mentioned something maybe I shouldn't talk about this while we're recording we'll talk about it off camera but just remind me to bring that up because there are certain things to consider when going public especially mm. as a parent that's yes. all I'll say Yes, I understand. Never really be prepared for the uh, the wise cracks in the comments. Hmm. Out of nowhere from some of these interviewers. Yeah, yeah, you know, I think that have to we have to expect that to a certain extent, which is why we should only do it when we're ready, and then we've got our little support network here that can help. We can help each other and boost each other up if we're feeling a bit like oh exposed or you know, being spoken to in a certain way. Uh, you know, I'm happy for all of you. I love you all and I'm here for all of you anytime. I'm going to exchange my number with you as well so you can get me on WhatsApp if you need to. I'm, I'm really all in this. I'm diving right in. Oh, so, okay. you know, yeah, uh, I'm ready. I'm ready to do this. I'm so ready. I can't Vienna wait. is going to take over the world, brother. I love this. But I feel so cute. You're so cute. Yeah. So cute. You got a soul. This is beautiful. Adorable. Adorable. <laughs> yes. We're gonna follow you. We'll follow. Oh, the I love you all so much. <laughs> My happy family. Happy. 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 Part, if you want to know. Yeah. Happy P. Happy. 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 <laughs> <laughs> So, everybody's everybody's teasing me today that they're gonna they're gonna throw me a little graduation party for um, oh so cute I love and I, that. and I said well you guys better give me like you know yellow party hats because <laughs> golden a golden, golden one <laughs> golden party hats that's right <laughs> or golden graduation cap 
We're gonna yeah, skip. that sounds good. Golden graduation. Yes. Yes, and Vienna, you're going to come up with the name of our uh, our group when we're done here at some point. Yes, yes. I will. Yeah, well, I will. And we're going to skip chapter 16. You can look it through if you're deciding to go pro and you need some uh, some suggestions, some guidance. You guys know how to reach me. Uh, but the media, uh, they're doable. They're workable, one way or the other. Oh, thanks, Tom. Oh, oh, Brother Sage, would you not like? Would you mind sending all the chat to us on an email afterwards, please? Because like, if anyone sends their numbers and that, so yes, we, yes, please. If, thank you, Brother Sage. Yes, thank you for saying this, Vienna, because I would like everybody's like all yeah. the contact information, phone number, email, or social media sites, because. I'm kind of slow yeah. on that, so I need this on paper. Yeah, me <laughs> too. Yes, <Yeah>, no worries. <laughs> Consider it done. Everybody's going to get a copy of the text chat. Thank you. You're worth it. I'm going to put in my number. Yeah. yeah. Eight, oh, Brother Sage, you called me on Friday. Yes, and I just I only just saw the missed call. I'm so sorry. Was it for any particular reason? Good question. Time has come and gone. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> it's slow on the uptake. And Mika, I just wanted to say one thing. Sorry, I don't want to interrupt the class. But I just want to thank Mika with all my heart because after with the first class or the second second one she was talking about the names and I looked up my name because my whole real name is actually Sheila Shankar <laughs> and Vienna was it, it's my a name that I chose because my mum and dad uh, when you're born uh, in in our culture you actually look at the how the, the moon and the stars and the sun are all aligned and they mm -hmm. check what letter that you're your name's supposed to start with but because my mum and dad were in the UK and they didn't they weren't able to, to to source that so I didn't so that's when I added the name that I was supposed to be initial with a V but my real name when I looked it up after what uh, Mika said when she said about her name I looked mine up and actually what it means is heavenly beneficent or giver of bliss so I really like nice. that oh, so beautiful oh, I know. Are... Thank you, you are people. heavenly Vienna. You are oh, heavenly. Thank you so, so much. I just love that. So thanks for that. It's because of you, I looked it up and I was like, wow, that feels amazing. So thank that's you. Wonderful. <laughs> and that's very true. That is so yes. true. The meaning of your name. You are a oh. light bringer. Yeah. Love you yes. So thank you. Love you too. <laughs> this is a love oh, fest. It's a oh. love fest. <laughs> What a wonderful family. All right, we're back in the book again. We're back in the book. We're back in the book. <laughs> we're back in the now. <laughs> now, you guys are great. So um, we're going to go over to page 208, and this is a conversation I started with Vienna earlier today in our talk, in our class. Whether to charge or not is totally up to you. Now, there are people who have been commenting on my posts for the last three or four years. How can you charge for urine therapy i said well the p is free and everything else on how to use it what to do with it how to answer people how uh, what are the ingredients what i mean all that other information i spent five years building collecting and writing and researching that's valuable priceless that's prices and if you're like mika or if you're like vienna or myself and you've been doing holistic health practices for a whole lot of years that adds to the value mm -hmm. right so the people, and, and you'll find out that the people who are complaining are the ones that have poverty consciousness. Yep. That's so true. Right? So they have to learn to value themselves. Yeah. And definitely. then they'll come around and go, oh, I missed out an opportunity to get a counseling with Vienna because I was had a hang up about money. So it's in every group. You find it in the spiritual communities. People complain, well, if it's spiritual, how come it's not free? Well, the spiritual part is free. And so is the we. The we is free. We be That's free. Right. <laughs> the we. The we we. That's what the chapter is addressing here. I'm going to just go over to uh, page 210 and read this part really quick. You made a best friend for life. It is the health giving and liberating benefits from Shivamba which are inspiring millions, which we found out is closer to a billion. 
devotees across earth to keep up this practice every day. Determine the value or fee from your sessions either based on what similar professionals are charging or what you think clients are willing to pay you. Ultimately, the value of any service is based on the value the client receives from the work with you. A payment is a form of expression or appreciation. Offering a sliding scale fee is perfect for clients with financial exceptions. By selling multiple session packages, a client will not only save money on each session, but most importantly, they'll be making a commitment to do the work with you on a regular basis. And I found out that's no, there's no um, guarantee. I've had people bought sessions, and one or two sessions later, they just went dark. I don't know what happened to them. Oh, can I just ask you a quick question, Brother Said? When you're in your packages, how many do you normally offer? What would you recommend? Like 10? Oh, you're frozen on my screen. Oh, he is frozen. <laughs> he's frozen. So now, so now he's having the, the connection. Yeah. I've, I've passed on the juju. <laughs> you have. Great. Brother, come back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, okay. Okay, Vienna, okay, Vienna, your turn. You are <laughs> our, oh. fearless, our fearless backup leader here. <laughs> yes. I can't stand it for Brother Sage. There's no contest there. Oh, oh he, he really went away. Wow. He's going to have to re enter. Oh, right. Yes, he is. But if the host so, goes down. So, how many sessions do you think, Vienna? Um, 10. What do you think? <laughs> I don't know. I've got to be using my intuition here. I think it's got to be ample because, you know, some of these people are going to have. I feel, I said to Brother Sage earlier, I'm quite lucky, my family, even though they just let me wander around with my cup and do what I'm doing, they're not judging me or not feeling awkward, but there are some people going to be living in a situation where it's not going to be that easy. Right. And I want to make sure they've got that support for as long as they need it, but, you know, it can't be ridiculously long, but maybe it could be 10. I feel 10 is quite a good number. I don't know. Well, I'm thinking like that too. once a week or twice a week. Yeah, yeah, once or twice, however much they want it, really, how they feel they need right. it. Hopefully, by after the 10, if they want a few more, probably may do it at a more of a reduced rate because already they're a bit more proficient with what they're doing. Right. Uh, and then and see what happens. But I think that in that initial early stage, only from doing it myself on my own, and I wanted to do this, it was a calling. They're doing it because their health is depending on it or they've been diagnosed with something and they're fearful. So right. they're probably in a, they're probably frightened and afraid and, and yeah. need someone. We're probably the only people there to support them. Hey, guys. Right. Yeah. Hey. hey. He's back. Yay. Hey, brother. We lost you. <laughs> well, uh, all of a sudden, <laughs> our network went, uh, went down. Yeah, that's what uh, Lexi said. She passed it on to you. <laughs> I, I passed yes. on all the juju. Exactly because our <laughs> network is what's hosting this Zoom call. I know. That's what I said. What do we do without our fearless leader? He's the one who brought us here. How does that happen? How does that work? I don't know. I, I just felt like going in the other room and just put some pee on the monitor. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it probably works. Probably right? Work. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. So, um, <laughs> That just changed the whole dynamic right there. Um, let's go to page 213. I just asked a question, but actually you vanished at that point and we actually had a little conversation about it, but I just wanted to know what you, out of interest, how many sessions you would recommend in in like offering like a package? Like, would you, do you have a specific number that you recommend? Uh, well, I do it, I do it either three, six or more. Oh, okay. It's quite not as much as I thought really, three or six. But, okay. I mean, it, it, can, it can be as many as it takes for them to just clean out more and more material and yeah. do the healing work. If they're getting, if they're making progress and they show, that shows you they're committed to doing the work, that's even better. Yeah. But I'm not set up like a chiropractor who says, well, you got to commit the nine sessions. You no, actually, you know what, now you say that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. You guys, you froze again. Um, uh oh wave so, Tom, Tom's oh. been frozen for ages no he's oh, not he's on my screen who me? me no she said Tom 
What is with this internet today? <laughs> oh my God. Divine intervention. Exactly. <laughs> I don't know. Why don't we why don't we take our break now? You you've gone to a small square. Oh no, you're back again. Okay. Yeah, that's a good idea because I need a little little break for Shivambu. Guys, we'll be back in five to eight <laughs> minutes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so um, I'm gonna read. And who if anybody is can actually get uh, transmission from the broadcast, then you're welcome to listen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, on, page, on page 213, I'm just going to um, highlight these individuals because uh, they've touched me and some of them I've been able to meet in person and talk to. And so like the first one is Ma, Ma Davy. She's out in France. You see her picture? Yeah. I had the fortune to interview her about three years ago. And she is like the French version of Monica Shute. Oh, wow. She lives it. She breathes it. She shines it. When she goes take a bath, she will not let city water touch her. She bathes in her water and goes and lets it dry. And uh, she's she's very pure in her diet. And she's she's a God being, uh, a sister of God. So it was just a joy to meet her. And so there's a little bit about her, her teaching, her consciousness. On page 214, she says, UT is rejuvenating, healing, holds mystical powers for those who have the fortunate luck to discover it. Fully explore UT and most of all, stay devoted to your daily practices for the long run. UT is wisdom and a tantra yogic sadhana or practice. You can find the numerous qualities it will bestow on the practitioner in the Damara Tantra. Divine blessings, love and light to all humanity. So that's Davy. You guys know who Harry is? Yay. I've had two interviews with him in four years. Be nice to get caught up. But everyone's life seems to get full. And, you know, it's it's always amazing how you and I joined on the line or how Sarah and Lexus uh, hooked up. And it seemed miraculous, the fact that we yeah. get to be with these incredible people. It really is. It's amazing. <clears throat> Sir George Johnson, also known as Tim Rogers, the guy with the stumps out in Montana. <clears throat> to honor him, I'm just going to read what he wrote on page uh, 217. He was having pain in one of the stumps. He had to go back to the hospital the other day, but they're keeping us uh, up to date on him as much as possible. He's the guy, by the way, who was writing Shivambu on the entrance to Yellowstone National Park. Um, <laughs> he's got four shirts they're all tie-dye that says shivambu guess what's on his license plate shivambu oh <laughs> wonderful so he's a dear friend uh, life is water we came to the world in water page 217 when we were inside the womb of our mother we drank the water where did it go we would pee it out and reabsorb it why do you think babies are gorgeous happy healthy amazing soft skin because they have the best most pure health of all the people in the world, page 218. The infinite creator is a genius, providing us with such an amazing start in our life. The powers that shouldn't be think otherwise that we need to poison our children with vaccines. Etymology explains the meaning of words from when it, came, it was created. Pharmacy is explained as maker of drugs, poison, and spells. Interesting, huh? Does this sound like a company you would like to buy products from? Once we remember and get back to the life we started, reabsorbing our own fluids, our life will transform. And I'm not going to read the rest, but that's George Johnson. And then on the next page is Dr. David Jubb. Has anybody heard of him? No, and very he, interesting, though. He has a company called Longevity Products. He is originally from Tasmania. And I met him at the 2018 Water of Life Symposium in which he stood up and claimed that he hadn't eaten anything in 10 years. Wow. wow. And he's, he's very big on urine therapy. And so that's him right there. That's Dr. David Jeb. Now, for years, he was touring with Doc, with uh, David Wolf. Those guys buddied up and helped each other launch their careers. And and David Jeb is one of those guys who operates at a genius capacity that's beyond me. So when you read some of his words... Let me just read some of it so you kind of get an idea how his brain operates. The most common complaint today is vascular dementia and pro-microcirculation. 
Urea opens up blood vessels by shrinking waterlogged terrain. It is thin. That intestinal lesion is healed by B vitamins made by friendly intestinal life colloid, of which the nitrogen from urine therapy is useful, and such a practice shifts life colloid toward useful uh, protobacillus. Now, is this our everyday conversation? <laughs> Wow. What? What? Life colloid. What <laughs> so if you want to dig into him, that's a couple of pages on him. I mean, he grew up in Tasmania. Like, what is that? The tip of Australia or somewhere near Madagascar? Somewhere like that. Yeah. Yeah. So somewhere. He grew up with urine somewhere therapy. Like that. <laughs> like that. Geography got my strongest point. Yeah. <laughs> so he comes from that kind of culture and that kind of tradition. Yes. It wasn't uncommon as a kid. He was getting urine therapy lessons from his mom. Wow. PN, did you want to say something? Yeah. What's his name again, David? Job. Job. BB. Dr. David. Oh, like Dub, like Dub Plate Special. No, J. It's like Dub Job. Okay. Do you want me to type it in? Are you okay? No, All right. I have it now. Yeah. Okay. The next down, yeah. this next article on which I'm not going to read, but I, she's she's worth mentioning. And and Alexis, if you and Sarah could ever get out to, to have a conversation with uh, Leah Sampson, also known as Standing White Buffalo, she's a true blooded uh, uh, American Indian woman, and she will not hesitate to let you know that. But uh, she there's her story. She was like 200. 35 pounds. She was like way overweight. She was sick. She had every kind of condition you could imagine. She couldn't get any answers from the doctor. And then urine therapy showed up in her life. Wow. Okay, so she, yes. lived it, she breathed it. She lost a bunch of weight. She's still in a back brace, but um, she's doing really good. She's been in, done a lot of YouTubes and a lot of teaching. I got to interview her a couple of years ago. She did this one video where she's down in Louisiana at the Mardi Gras and she's kicking it up out there. She's dressed with all these feathers and she looked really sexy. And I'm going, yay, Leah. And she <laughs> Yes. Oh my goodness. I'll look her up. I haven't, I've never heard of her before. Yeah. She's in Canada. And if you need help, I can connect you guys. Okay. That's wonderful. Thank you. Terrific soul. And I hope people will keep listening to her. Where in Canada is she? Uh Good question. I think she's over in the uh, the the west side near New Brunswick or somewhere. Okay. Nova Scotia. I'm not sure, but I, I, you know, we can look her up on social media, or I can connect you. Okay. Now I'm going to do a rap song. <laughs> Have I done this in this class? No. Okay. I haven't heard the rap. All right. I I just make it up as I go. It just it just it just yells for rap. So. Uh, this is a song that was written by Casey Caban, who goes by the alias of We Do Shivambu. And he's a guy who owned property in North Dakota, and he like had 20-year-old age urine out in a barn. Wow. Uh, incredible guy. I'm going to wait for Alexis to come back. If I'm going to do a rap and be embarrassed, I need, I need my, my girl power right here. Arr. All right. Oh, All right. <laughs> here we go. Bring it on. What are your ailments? Are you seeking a cure? Are you giving treatments that leave you unsure? Most remedies relieve us, but that doesn't matter. Masking the symptoms when the cure is in the bladder. The poisons consumed are always there. It's in our food, water, and air. Some we control, no need to assume. It's simply based on what we consume. If you don't feel good, do you know why? Do you pop a pill and hope you don't die? The cure lives within us. You just look and see. It's very simple. Start drinking your pee. Oh, that's so good. That's oh, hilarious. Hilarious. Maybe one of you guys will be a, a pee rapper. Uh, one of these I love a pee rapper. A pee rap. <laughs> oh, we'll have to send this clip over to... Uh, Casey. So chapter 19 is just uh, some a highlight of some of the most um, renowned. I, I call them renowned because, you know, I respect everybody's been doing this work for some of these guys been at it 50 years. Wow. So I just wanted you to spotlight all these people so you can get an idea 
uh, of some of our elder teachers. Some of them are still around, like Cohen Vanderkroon. He's out in Holland. Uh, he's in his 70s right now. Uh, Radshak Maloda, he's him and his wife, 77, 78. She's been doing, they've been doing this 54 years. Um, and all these people are just worth noting. So that's why, uh, that's why I'm here. I want to make a comment. I think it's uh, almost everybody's read The Water of Life, correct? Mm -hmm. Y'all read that? Yeah. Yeah. I have not actually. I've read um, your own perfect medicine, but I haven't read the Water of Life yet. Okay. Well, you know, I was it was written in the forty. Uh, it was written in the forties, right? Nineteen forty-four or something like that. Mm -hmm. Like the very first page, uh, especially if you've gone down the roads we've gone down, uh, like germ theory and all that. How you notice that nothing has changed. Like he could have written that today and it, it would be the same. It's just amazing that nothing has changed over all these years um, in the medical industry. Crazy. Just, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's amazing. No yeah. kidding, huh? Yeah. No, yeah. I smelled the rat. <laughs> you know, there's so many distractions, Tom. That's what everywhere, and as, as we've evolved, if you call it evolved as humans, there's more distractions, more convenience, more this, more phones, more tablets, more supermarkets, I mean, 24 seven. It's like, it's, we live in a world that never stops. And we right. don't. Right. And, and I feel it's all a distraction technique to take us away from where we are meant Absolutely. to be. Absolutely, I agree, I agree. Yeah. 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 And that's why I really believe the pandemic yeah. hit because something yeah breathe <laughs> so the pandemic hit because we were meant to wake up and a lot of people woke up through that pandemic yes yeah, right very true. Yeah. So that is true got to be grateful for for, for, for covid in, in some respects you know in that way i think definitely and you know what as well it allowed us the time prior maybe you wanted to delve into this but you didn't have the time because you're working you come home you're tired you're exhausted but it allowed you to stop I mean in the UK I was so fortunate because I had a business and I was furloughed so I got paid to stay at home my brother was a key worker he wasn't so lucky he's got a stressful job he the people that had to work had to work consistently all the way through it wasn't very fair at all and because mine was a right. close contact service I was able to stay at home my mother had to shield because she's poorly so people certain people were given that and they were allowed to stay to they were told to stay at home and were paid uh, according to what your income was prior and actually that sustained me through that period of time but then there were some other people that didn't and I know a lot of people that during that time that were staying at home and were paid to stay at home delved into this spiritual world right right yeah. so lots of people woke up then maybe they weren't going down the Shudambu trail just yet but they certainly became more broadened more open-minded to things that they weren't aware of. So a lot of magical things happened during that period of time, I believe. I agree. I, agree now, I had an interesting, I had an interesting uh, blessing that came my way. Uh, word got out to my clients that I was one of the few people in Boulder still touching people. Yeah. Wow. Right. I was still doing massage, full body massage and reflexology. So people came back to me from five, 10 years ago were showing up. Newbies were showing up. My practice actually doubled during the during 2020. And then and yeah, all that time you didn't get COVID, did you? And all that time having such close contact with people, you never caught it. There's no such thing as COVID or a germ. I'm not going to catch a, an no, illusion. I, but to you. them, to them, I they probably thought, oh my God, you know, like people looking at you being so close to other people from oh, the outside. Yeah. People were so fearful, like, oh, my God, you can't get anyone near anyone or touch anyone without a mask or you can't breathe the same air or be in the same room as them. So for them, for you to be doing that and being so busy and yet being perfectly fine and healthy. Oh, yeah. And I worked on people that were triple vax and double boosted. And uh, of course, I wasn't telling them that I was putting on my tube of white light and Archangel Michael it was there to protect me. But um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I always did really fine, and my book sales uh, doubled and tripled because of my connection with Dr. Group, and I, I put my whole heart and soul and energy into this community and this movement, so my world was mostly outside of Boulder <laughs> than inside right. of town. 
So if if you're just trusting, it's amazing that things are still beautifully unfolding and you know, a lot of things you're being given to you right now happen regardless of how the world's playing it out. Yeah. True. So whatever you can do to come back to the what you put your priority is, you know, you know what you seek first, right? <clears throat> Right. You seek your source first, and then everything plays itself out perfectly in the divine order that the universe has in store for you. And we're not sitting around going, oh, it's supposed to be like this, and it's supposed to be like that. And guess what happens when you get rigid, right? You break. So I hope you guys are taking breaks and resting. I'm going to the hot springs to get naked for the next uh, this weekend. So if you want to see, think, you got to get to Colorado. I think that was the. <laughs> That's what the call was about, Vienna. It was about the little <laughs> retreat. Yeah. <laughs> that was the what? The what call? The call. Uh, Brother Sage called her earlier. He forgot what he called <laughs> about. Right. <laughs> yeah. It was, it was a personal In matter. <laughs> invitation. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> Mika, you're missing out on the good stuff. Well, uh, I'm, I can, uh, I'm most definitely hearing that. I'm going <laughs> to order my private jet to be there. You, know? <laughs> you, got, you got till Saturday and uh, you can share the room with me. All right. Have, okay. Cabin, what are we going to do? <laughs> oh, boy. All right. We we're gonna along. pee on each other. <laughs> Brother Sage, we're gonna pee on each other. What, what else would we do? <laughs> we're gonna have to take that conversation in private, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, oh, Mika, I love you so much. Wow. I'm embarrassed about <laughs> oh, you've never had a class like this before, have you? So ruthless. <laughs> I haven't, and I, I long for more of them. Um, <laughs> you'll have them there's not there's nothing else to do but to make make light of our lives it's so Yay. it's right. good to so laugh it is. oh it yeah is good. Like you a long time so it's just wonderful <laughs> <laughs> okay i'll tell a joke i'll tell a joke and then we'll get back to it okay all right Let's hear it. this all fifth right. grade this fifth grade class was asked what are the most important minerals on the planet have you heard this one no Okay, well, Joe, Joey jumps up and says, I, I know it's gold. And the teacher says, Joey, why is gold such an important mineral? Well, with gold, my dad bought himself a Mercedes. Well, Jimmy jumps up and says, no, no, no. The most important mineral is platinum. And the teacher says, Jimmy, why is platinum so important? Well, with platinum, my dad bought himself a Maserati. Maserati. Well, little Sally, yeah, she's got them all beat. Sally jumps up and says, teacher, teacher, we all know. Oh, the most important mineral is silicon. <clears throat> <laughs> and the teacher says, Sally, why is silicon so important? Well, my mom just got breast implants and she's got a new car out front every day. <laughs> <laughs> Bada boom. Okay. Bada boom. <laughs> That's funny. So, That's it. <laughs> humor. Let's go to page two, nine, 239. Oh, I'm gonna, and I'm going to pass the reading over to whoever would like to read right now. Now, I'm noticing that the visions I had about this movement and about this work and about uh, a lot of things that took place four years ago are manifesting every day now. Wow. I mean, my world tour, I, I had that vision four years ago and putting together an organization and a directory and doing these these classes. It was three or four years in the making. Wow. So I, I'm feeling your visions cool. are going to uh, collapse time and happen a lot quicker. Wow. Magic. Magic. Okay. Tom, <laughs> Tom or, or Alexis, somebody want to volunteer? Let's have Tom read today. He hasn't read yeah, so far. We haven't heard Tom. Oh, great. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right. Take that as my signal. No pressure, no pressure Tom. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you want me to start on 239? Uh, the favor. future of the Shiva, Shivambu movement and urine yes. therapy? Yes, please. All right, there's an increasing worldwide interest in becoming an Oren therapy teacher. This is resulting in the creation of UT schools, educational programs, home study classes, and conferences. Our voices are being heard. The Shinbambu movement is growing. There's still so much more work to do, and our, 
our message is being spread mostly through social media, radio, TV shows, and interviews. Every day, more are taking this message, message and mission to the streets and to the people who need, who need a miracle. This has been an organically growing grassroots movement up until 2020. Moved by the healing of our own bodies, courageous individuals like you are putting aside concerns and fears and offering a life-saving remedy by telling their friends and loved ones about their discovery of auto urine therapy. Are you among these warriors? As billions of people desperate seeking answers to their serious illness and well-being become more disappointed by the medical establishment, it will be up to us to speak up and take action. We need to continue sharing the Shivambu message to all of humanity. Let this be the day that world governments and their media tell the people of the world of the world the truth about AUT. Through spreading the education and awareness of AUT, the Shivambu organization will be producing several auto urine therapy educational and instructional projects for 2021 and 2022 to empower everyone in this life-changing practice. Outreach programs, local water community meetings, support groups, and UT teaching and therapy centers are being established in Africa, USA, UK, Germany, Australia, and other countries. Shivambu's documentaries, trainings, and research findings will be taught in schools, universities, churches, AA meetings, recovery centers, senior centers, wellness centers, websites, and movie theaters across the world. Our tools are making auto urine therapy topics engaging for young and old viewers, which is sparking excitement for further study. With the training and confidence gained by upcoming UT teachers and therapists, many more are able to help their clients in their recovery to restore their health and achieve a better quality of life. We continue to be blessed with the countless numbers of Shivambu enthusiasts joining us with their time, talent, energy, and voices to the movement of all, of all movements. Your devotion to UT practices and compassion for sisters and brothers is greatly appreciated and needed now more than any time in history. The wisdom and ability for all humanity to take self-healing into their own hands is changing the healthcare system on this planet or plane forever. Sorry, I had to throw that plane in there. No, we know it's Shiv Yeah, Shiv Bamboo is here to bring health freedom many generations living today and well into the future. Those with questions on how to join Shivambu and its worldwide mission, or have any suggestions, donations, proposals, or ideas to further our work, you can reach us through shivambu.org. Don't Somebody be natural can... about sending donations. I'm not shy about <laughs> asking for money. I've been the pitch man for our nonprofit for the last three years, and I appreciate the people who sent two bucks or whatever they could. Dr. Group, bless his heart, he donated $1,500. So he, he's, he's dear to me. because he's No doubt. Me. So um, that's the end of my commercial. Go ahead. <laughs> Following the Shivambu Trail documentary, we'll travel the, we'll travel the world with Brother Sage, assist, assistant and camera crew spreading the Shivambu message along with Oren therapy stories and recording inspiring news from people on the streets across the world. Spinoffs will come after this book is published, which will include radio, television, and internet talk show interviews and articles. More respected celebrities will be coming forward and lending their names and reputations by endorsing auto urine therapy for the world. Have you to discover uh, some celebrities. Celebrities, yeah. yeah. Some of them are athletes. Um, some of them are from television, like uh, um, uh, Rodney Levoyer Jr. He was on the Survivor Show. Ah, yeah. yeah. Right, yeah. And then he realized that there was a lot of uh, darkness on television and the whole survival thing. So he moved off. And then 
a, a year later, he starts talking about urine therapy and he gets all over the place and he's, he's adding his name to that. And Troy Casey is another person who was uh, uh, a big fashion model in Hollywood years ago. And he saw the lies and the deception in Hollywood. And he went off and uh, went out on the, in the wild and discovered his nature. And now, and now he's teaching out there in Sedona. But he's been, he preached about urine therapy for years. Yeah. So, yeah, this is coming true. Go ahead, Tom. All right. Shivambu will be producing live streaming webinars, teaching UT courses for, from beginners, UT 101 classes through master teach, teacher level. They will also be offering Zoom urine therapy conference calls with Q&A format for audience participation. Participation. We will be filming Brother Sage and the Shivambu team hosting tables at popular public gathering places and events. Enjoy watching us, watching us presenting and dialoguing with individuals as we introduce auto urine therapy and answer all questions about it. Vienna, the growing you, interest. Vienna, oh, go sorry for interrupting. If you feel that you still got some uh, a little hesitancy about going public, and you want to test your faith and your courage, yes. uh, host a table out in a public popular plaza or gathering area, and and with teaching urine therapy. I mean that really got to see what I was made of. I wow. got a per I got a permit from the city. I went out there with three of my students. One was filming. And in four hours, we had 35 visitors, but I got to examine how comfortable I was with the subject and how safe I was sharing that message. Wow. See, you know, for me, uh, that would be uh, stressful, but um, talking, <laughs> talking, <laughs> uh, talking to my friends and family is much more stressful to me about it than Strangers? Strangers, yeah. I have no problem mentioning it to strangers. And actually, I don't have much with family and friends, but like to announce it on the public, you know, that's got me a little anxious. All but. right. So if I come over to Arkansas, could, you, <laughs> could we do this together out in the street? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Of course, it'd be hard to find anybody where I am, but <laughs> sure we can well, we'll go somewhere. We'll we'll <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Please keep reading. Okay. Uh, where am I at? There, yeah. There's uh, a growing interest. Sorry, can I just, yeah. sorry, I know you want him to come and read it, but Tom, you're reading beautifully, by the way. Um, I just want to say, what is it you're fearful of? What oh, is me? It? Yes. I don't know. Because, you know, I've always been, you know, I've, I don't know. I've always been out there. I'm not one to want to hide what I, you know, even though with basketball and in a small town, I was kind of in a, yeah. people were watching, you know, uh, yeah, and I, I, I didn't, I didn't hide much and I've always been one to speak up about certain things, but you know, there's such a stigma to this. Um, yeah, it's out there. It's really out there. This is like, it's a real exposure of, of, and I understand because I was where you were because I didn't even want to post any, I didn't even want to like something on social media that had, was connected to it that other people would see and read and think, oh, and yet I'm doing right. it now. And I'm shocked how easily, effortlessly, I'm like, oh yeah, uh, you know, and I'm even commenting and I'm like, wow, this is what's happened yesterday. I made two comments on something and, you know, he he was, it's clear who he is and what he's doing. And yet I right. sent him love. The comment was love with hearts. They, yeah, go for it. And it's amazing what you're doing. And so I've, that, I've just dropped that fear. And I think in time, you'll shed that. Yeah, I think it, so too. I think so too. And you know Especially what? Keep, keep drinking your Shivambu because that, honestly, it gives you the power it really does reinforce like it's like almost like you're invincible you're like a superhero that's right we are and that's what it feels like superheroes. yes you know we we are. About marvel and all the rest of them you know what i mean we um, have you're, right. you are putting on There's my you're Shibambu. putting on the armor of God when you use Shivambu. It's the armor or the consciousness or the courage of the creator. So where is there room for fear, bro? I really feel I, it. And I, you know what? He's just hit the nail I don't on the like head. Him. I feel that like Shiva is in me, within me. 
that that's what it is. Maybe that is where I'm getting my power. And the more we drink this, the more we will have that. Yeah. Right. It will, it will yeah. come. It will happen. Because already in a short space of time, you have evolved and grown. Sure, so sure. You started to where you are now in a short space of time. Look where you are. So just imagine in right. another few weeks, in a month, in two months, it will just right. happen. Right. And I do believe holding back this information is worse than, you know, the worst possible ridicule I can receive. You know, I would I would rather come out with the truth than than hold it That's back. That's so for, how I felt. Everything you're yeah. saying was what I told myself internally. How can you be? What's wrong with you? Because this is more important than what you're feeling about someone saying, oh, look, look what she does. Oh, she's a bit weird. Oh, who cares? You know, that's right, in my mind. Right. I don't have much internal chatter now, but the only thing I did was I had that was like, what is it? What's that barrier? What's blocking you here? And then I thought, well, you know, this is more important. You know, this is far more right. important right. than just me getting worried about some silly person on social media. I'll just block them and send them love. <laughs> <They know. laughs> you sound like a teenager who has a thing for a girl, but you're shy to say I love you. Yeah, it is I mean, a bit like that. Yeah, yeah. You can say I love you to people, but why can't you say drink your pee? <laughs> <laughs> I see, it's all it's all context. It's how we how we view it. But you know what? Well, is it, I think the, the programming, Tom, because we know what these people because we didn't understand once, and we know these are more deeply embedded in the world right. out there. You know, they're so, oh, let's go to the supermarket, let's eat copious amounts of food, and let's just stuff our face, let's watch loads of shit TV. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to be popular if this goes out because of all these things I'm saying. <laughs> Most people do. But that's the truth of it, isn't it? And you look how yeah. happy we are. We don't do any of those things. And look, we're on a high. Yeah. You know, we're right. high on life and love and life and all the what really matters. I feel like I'm preaching here. I'm going to get a box and stand up. <laughs> <laughs> amen sister amen amen Breathe. Amen. Breathe. Great, That's word. Right. great word great word love you love you love you love you <laughs> but that all of that is so true and the only thing i would add um was what i think brother sage said at the beginning of this class which wayne dyer was the first person i heard it from and that is that other people's opinions of us are none of our business and <laughs> our yeah. purpose in life is to speak our truth and let the chips fall because those people that are meant to be there are going to be there right. and you're going to you're, you're right. going to have the right people in your corner that when you're ready will come and support you and lift you up so having those doubtful beliefs about oh i'm not gonna you know i'm not gonna be supported anymore i'm not gonna have the right the right relationships anymore um that's all in just your mind so yeah. let that, let that, no. um, that idea of, you know, I, I am just let allowing truth to come through. Right. That, let that speak That's for right. itself. You know, well, it's your truth. Because right. it's true. Suggest... Your vibration changes and Absolutely. those people will fall to the wayside because you're not resonating with them on the same level anymore. You're yeah. here and they're there. And so that's why like minded people that have the real love embody all of this will be the ones that are magnetic to you and get drawn to you. And you won't right. notice those ones that slip to the side, Tom. You hey. might, you'll be looking up there, they'll be looking over there. You know, two different worlds here. Right. And it's so like you guys are all saying that. If I can just add something to help yes. maybe Tom to shift in that, obviously working on reprogramming our subconscious mind from that conditioning is the key here. What's really helpful, what helped me years ago is, um, you know, either looking for affirmations that are already, you know, meditation, prayer affirmations that are all over now social media or creating your own you know what resonates with you and you know starting with i am i am the messenger of god for the atu therapy you know uh, because and i am changing the world you know in a positive way one person at the time by sharing my shivambu wisdom 
whatever resonates with you and I am attracting my Shivambu tribe, whatever, you know, so whatever fears you have that you will be rejected or you will have no friends or something, then this is a confirmation that what you're going to attract, it's only going to serve you and humanity. And, you know, reciting this, affirming this, at least starting your day and ending your day that way, making a few minutes for that, that is so helpful. Because remember, we're vibrational beings. So when you're speaking, your voice resonates with every cell in your body and gets received. Right, it's a powerful message. Right. So that's how you're going to do it. So it's kind of amazing. Love that. Love it. Love it. Love it. It's so true. Great addition. So true. And remember and what Brother Love, night. love <laughs> you. Love you. He said, I'm open to the possibility of. of. Don't yes. forget those beautiful words of wisdom. Up there. until you now. Up until <laughs> now. That's <laughs> number three. Oh, what's number three? Come on, guys. I choose to know. Oh, I choose oh, to yeah. know. I choose. That's yeah. right. That's good. Deviana, yeah. if you were choosing to know what you needed to know, you would have known. But never mind. <laughs> <laughs> and I am loved and I am blessed. Yay. Okay. <laughs> so uh, I'm so glad we finally had an affirmations class. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> We're going to be doing this at the retreat in Oceanside. I'm a I'm a student of Louise Hay. Uh, I get oh, this I love Louise. Hay. I remember Louise Hay. Oh, oh my yeah. goodness! And so, if you start to remember that thought is creative, you just have to look at your life and go, "Well, that ain't working. I just got to change my thoughts." <laughs> That's right. And the beautiful yeah. thing of knowing universal truth is you don't have to go to a mystery school. You don't have to find a guru and you don't have to go to a seminar. You can just receive it internally. And, and while that shift is taking place, the evolution or the upgrade or the ahas um, take make you understand things you didn't know before. I mean, a lot of times I get these throughout the day and it feels like I've evolved like every 10 minutes. All of a sudden, you know something you didn't know, and you're in a new place, and you don't know who you are because you're a new person, not the person who you, who knew that before they know that. And at the end of the day, you have to stop and, and regroup with all the changes. <laughs> what just happened today? Wow. I love that. That was beautiful, what you just said there. That just summed it up perfectly. So, so true. Now, in, in com combination with that, I'm off subject, but whatever. Uh, in combination <laughs> of that, it feels like what people call ascension energy. Um, I call it massive liberation or freedom, because if all these belief systems are peeling away and peeling and peeling away, a lot of people feel ungrounded and they feel like they're taking a lift off. And what's happening is you're being liberated from those programs and the belief systems that have limited you and locked you down. Yeah, so true. So just heads up, if you find yourself floating today, you go, yeah. oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 where are your feet guys where are your feet <laughs> all right any questions before we go back to class are you feeling better tom about after that you feel a bit better yes i do yes i do all right. thank you thank you all welcome of course we're all here in your corner yay you can hear did you guys hear tom's uh, the resonance of his voice shifted <clears throat> Yes. You had a new quality. Yeah. New posture, man. Come on, man. <laughs> hold the posture. Hold right. it. Hold it. Hold it. <laughs> All right. We're going to skip over to the bottom of 242. I'll take it from here. All right. Then I'll pass it over to somebody. There's a growing interest in becoming a therapist. This will result in the creation of schools. Oh, here we go. And the uncertification programming. I call it uncertification because what it describes is practitioners who are pre-qualified because of their experience, not based on going to a university, taking a course. It's the same when I'm sure you guys have had professional massage before. There are a lot of massage therapists. They go in and out of massage school and they learn technique only, but they didn't learn feel. They didn't learn the sensitivity and the fingerprint, the fingertips and the pressure and the information. I mean, I had to learn all that. And when you get a massage from somebody who only learned technique, you can tell the difference. Yeah. Yeah. So the people Absolutely. who feel ready to become a urine therapy teacher, they're urine therapy teachers already. Hint, 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 hint. 
<clears throat> so the rest is just their internal shift that they have to make to realize, yeah, this is on purpose. This is why I'm here. This is part of your work. Uh, hand pickled garlic and chilies. Okay. Oh, <laughs> yum. <laughs> Delicious. Uh, bottom page 243. We're good. We're doing good on our time here. The power of AUT, the future of AUT, gets confirmed by the medically controlled double blind study. These lab test results will become the gold standard. I meant to put it that way. The gold standard <laughs> for AUT's acknowledgement as the perfect medicine for humanity. Many peer reviewed published articles begin appearing on university and medical websites and in natural healing publications. Man, who's that guy out of Austin, Texas? What is his name? Mike Adams, Natural Health Show. Have you seen him, Mike Adams? Oh, no, I thought you were talking about that guy yeah. from Raw Vegan Heroes. Ranger. He's the health ranger. He's oh, another okay. one of those Patriot whistleblower television stations. I like to him talk to me about urine therapy. But it, what's his name? Mike what? Mike Adams. Mike Adams, okay. Yeah, the health ranger. Anyway, page 244, we're going to keep going here. Shivambu nonprofit organization will be blessed with a wealthy philanthropist who not only sponsors the double blind study, they finance all the staff, directors, and projects for Shivambu. If this is one of you, uh, PM me. Uh, the financial source has no economic or political interest in Shivambu being tested. They will not be motivated by profit from Orin products, which ironically can't be patented or owned. Since Orin is the least controllable substance on earth, it is impossible to derive any monetary profit from Shivambu. Therefore, our angel invested $100,000 to put together the double blind study. This is, this is for all you people going, do we have any science? Do we have any evidence? Do we have any studies? Do we have any peer reviewed articles? We're going to have this angel show up and we're going to get everything professionally done, scientifically proven. So you guys have that as a documentation. I believe it. That would be great. Consequently, the pharmaceutical companies that make bottom of page 244, you're going to love this part. This is part of the future vision. The companies that make antibiotics as well as pharmacies and stores well, that sell antibiotics, including health food stores, are cutting back on their workforce and may possibly close their businesses because there's no need to use antibiotics anymore. How's that for a game changer? Yay. We need that game change. Man. Yeah. Oh, come see, you know. Keep keep putting the word out there. That's why you guys were brought here as missionaries. <clears throat> uh, prime Minister Modi of India, who is the current prime minister, declares urine therapy as an acceptable form of self-health care to the entire nation of India and to the world. Governments will include UT in the curriculum in all medical and educational institutions, which might be out of business at that point <clears throat> anyway. Hospitals and healthcare providers will provide AUT as their number one treatment. All states and countries will give official recognition to AUT. There will be a cooperation and coordination between different healthcare disciplines to assist in overcoming all illnesses and contributing to the happiness, well being, and health of humanity. We will become self reliant as people find out that this basic and natural therapeutic practice, which is safe, Sure, simple and free. I would add the word sterile. Uh, this is the gift of life known as Shibambu or in therapy. Page 246. Now, you see that picture of the guy and a girl? It's yeah. a stained glass window and it's on the side of a tavern in a nearby town here in Colorado. And I saw them clinging their glasses together. And immediately I thought, no, that's not what it really means to me. And so uh, <laughs> I had to include it in the book. Um, recent photo, recent reply to a water brother in, in South Africa about UT training, UT centers in Africa and certification. You get my previous book, Healing Water from Within, or as a digital color cop, uh, copy for me. There are currently no formal training centers in South Africa, by the way, as the, since this book came out in 2018, oh, 2020, uh, Bumi Samola is building one in his house in Nigeria. Amazing. Yeah. Wow. Keep an eye on him. And there are a growing number of UT practitioners scattered across Africa. Strong water families in Botswana, Nigeria, and Kenya are working on UT conferences. And they were going to have me as a guest speaker in 2020, but, you know, something hit the fan. And so I didn't go. <laughs> 
Too bad Piss didn't hit the fan. I mean, that was. <laughs> <laughs> um, with AUT, it doesn't matter the name of a disease or a story about it. Let me repeat that in case you didn't get it. With with urine therapy, it doesn't matter what you call it the disease, the story, lab tests, or personal beliefs. Shivambo brings healing, miracles, and answers to prayers. So as, as, as much as people have complicated self-healing, we've relied on a system uh, that, you know, gave us theories and made diagnosis, and none of that was real. And we took it for granted. That's how you heal yourself. Well, we've forgotten our natural ways to work with our bodies, with our water, with nature. People are, I mean, I've noticed over the years of doing wellness that how many people are actually going out in the wild and learning edible weeds and finding out what plants nature has for free. And uh, it's not a bad thing if our, our infrastructure falls apart and people have to learn how to make it the way nature intended us. Yeah. So there's blessings in and everything, even though it looks like it's insane as hell right now, <clears throat> there's a lot of blessings going on. Yeah, really are. Keep your eyes open. All right, two forty-seven. I would love Vienna to read some about the funny part of our lifestyle. Okay. Humor as a therapeutic adjunct to AUT does make a difference. Smiling not only increases one's face value, smiling produces endorphins and happy molecules. While dealing with the controversial subject of drinking one's pee and sharing AUT with sick people you wish to help, it will take a sense of humour as well as a sensitivity to earn the acceptance by the prospects and newbies on the UT path. The pea cabulary <laughs> of oh. <laughs> <laughs> It was included in the book Healing Water from Within, along with the pea cartoons, pea jokes, celebrities discussing drinking pea or people singing pea drinking songs was for readers to learn how to lighten up when presenting new tea to anyone. Humour and pea puns produce a temporary shift in the mind <laughs> in its attempt to take in a new idea, particularly one that challenges our perception of reality or beliefs learned from trusted sources. While a person is going through mental gymnastics, to be able to understand and integrate this new idea known as the sorting out period, UT as an idea is worth considering. This must sink deeper into the mind until they get it. Humour is the key that opens the mind. It spices and lightens up any apparent difficulties. Humour, like a powerful laser light, penetrates even the most guarded of minds, allowing new ideas to be planted in a now fertile soil. One pioneer in laughter research claimed it took 10 minutes on a rowing machine for his heart rate to reach the level it would after just one minute of hearty laughter. 10 minutes of laughter can easily produce two hours of pain-free sleep, as well as a mind that is free from worry. It has been shown in several studies that the ability to laugh raises the level of infection fighting antibodies by the body, as well as boosts the level of immune system cells. Your body responds incredibly well to the effects of belly laughs. Orin, especially during looping, either sip looping or all out looping, increases antibodies, nourishes the nervous system, especially the adrenal glands, normalizes work of blood vessels and lowers blood pressure. Adding comedy, humour and laughter reactivates, amplifies and enhances the body's strength as it brings positive effects. Regardless of whether laughter actually does improve your health or boost your energy, it undeniably improves the, your quality of life. Enjoying laughing is the reason to laugh. Being peed on <laughs> is more than therapeutic than saying, saying pissed off. Being, actually, I've got to use it. Being pissed on is more therapeutic than saying pissed off. <laughs> Very good. You did it. <laughs> um, get hit by learning an, a, hilar a hilarious new Orin language. It is packed with piss-rich puns and new Orin words with definitions. <laughs> Learn it today. It won't be confiscated and you will not be pissing away your time. <laughs> Breathe, <laughs> exhale, 
I have too much free time on my hands. <laughs> I, I, I've, I've got my phobia of it now. I'm just going for it. Um, oh, fantastic. That was good. <laughs> breathe, exhale, and release all pressure from your belly, mind, bladder, and intestine, intestines. Here's a pistacular idea that will pisillate your coroni, cor coronation with others. Pea puns <laughs> are guaranteed to take you beyond the known Orinoverse, the Orinosphere, where Shivambu devotees gather. The worldwide water family openly and sincerely show their piss perfect and love for each other. In my experience, I feel everyone's love and gratitude for hearing this message in the most perfect way. Just pee happy, pee active, and drink your pee daily. Today's mantra, I now pee easily, effortlessly, and on time. And that's for all the brothers who are having to heal their prostate right now. <laughs> <laughs> I release, relax, and am present when I pee. Are we having a mag magpissident time now? <laughs> you're, you're in good hands with your own water. Just trust and flow with it. Hey, if they can't take a joke, you know what to do. Have you come out? Have you come aboard the Orin Wave before it beca becomes the big change? Come on in. The water is fine. Either get pissy drinking Orin or get busy sinking. Hampinomics, what happens with a hemp farmer uses orin in his field, his plants and income become penormous. Was it Mary Poppins who sang a verse that contained the word XP allidocious? <laughs> simply, <laughs> simply let the pistabulary of orinisms re resources fill up your joy tank and you will never be piss poor again. <laughs> That's funny. Vienna, uh, for playing along. Yeah, I had to. Uh, are we are we carrying on or? Yes, we're carrying on. Well, I'm looking through and see what uh, is worth uh, reviewing. Um, and the next couple of chapters is just you know at your own timing. This you can read about our nonprofit organization. It, by the way, has has grown in leaps and bounds. Uh, we just started out with uh, Christopher, myself, and Dara, VJ, and Therese. And uh, Christopher set up our nonprofit 501c3. And so we were having meetings at Downtown Public Library. Uh, we had meetup group, and it started to grow. And then he decided to create the Shivambu Hut and offer free memberships. And that, by the way, is up to 633 members. Wow. Uh, that, dub that double almost tripled in last year. Wow. And so what we've been doing was we were building the infrastructure for humanity, creating the water directory, uh, which some of you are listed in, uh, putting together social media groups, putting together these courses. Uh, we're doing the, all the behind the scenes stuff as, as much as we can to help out. It's very exciting. Brilliant. Yeah. And how it's growing. Imagine like this time next year, how many it will grow to again. Yeah, and we've kept it as a free membership, uh, even though some people are saying, well, you know, we could weed out the people. Nah, we left it, we left it free because these people are coming in and they're adding their videos and their content and they're doing a lot of research that I don't have the time to, and they're finding some great information and posting it uh, at the hut in places. A lot of the people in social media don't have access to this information. Yeah. Mm, that's so awesome. Over to the hut. Yes. I go on there about once every couple of weeks and it's very, very inspiring. Yeah, I don't get, uh, but I'm going, my plan is to get on it more, but yet it is very inspiring. And there's a wealth of knowledge there and support, which is amazing. Wow. Really yeah. is, yeah. I just love all the new discoveries that people are finding. I, I'm uh, enjoying people who find articles about urine therapy that go back to the 1900s go back to the 1940s. Some guy sent me uh, his magazine called Shivambu that he started publishing in 1994 out of Arizona. Oh. I, don't know, I don't know if he still has a publication. Let me see if I can find it. Talk amongst yourselves. That's kind of cool. Yeah, there's so many people that are in this movement that I'm, I'm not familiar with yet. So I've, I'm really excited to look at some of these new people like the Dr. Jubb and- Yeah. Oh, okay. I, think I've heard, I think I've heard him on a couple of interviews. I'm not sure if that's him or not. Oh, wow. Does he, does he have like one side of his head shaved and the other not? 
Dr. Um, Jeb, yes. He's got funky matted okay. cut across the hair and goes far back and then he's shaved around the side. Oh. Yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, he's a smart guy. Obviously, what, a very what was it on? Was it on YouTube or something? Yes, it was on YouTube. I don't know. I don't. I don't remember the source. I was doing so much digging at that time. If you go look up Dr. Jeb, you will find his some of his videos talking about urine therapy. Okay. I will he, has a, he has a YouTube up. channel. That's awesome. You know, there's a a gentleman that does a lot of. Uh, you know, promoting of urine therapy, but he really talks about distilled water a lot. He, he was the guy. Andrew. 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 Love Andrew. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, He's the one that great. was allergic to the wasp sting. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. That's and where I think. Yeah. I he does. Gone he, into hiding. He does champion UT, but because he's so passionate and I think he wants he just so wants people to get on board that that's why he gets the distilled water out because people can get their head around that more which I understand um but yeah he fundamentally he's about the UT you know he's about the Shivambu um right, he, right. he gets the fact that the the programming for some is just too much still um so the next best thing is the distilled water isn't it really right you know but when I was like reading through you know, uh, your your own perfect medicine, um, certain studies that they did like with the uh, um, urinary tract infections that mm -hmm. that the watering down of the urine can have an effect on its, the you know, the urea concentration. And that's what, you know, uh, seems to prevent that from, from the infection from happening. So, you know how a lot of people when they have urinary like that's the diagnosis now drink a lot of fluids and you yeah. think that's a good thing but really it it can uh water down the urea and not be as effective so so his he talks a lot about drinking a gallon or something of distilled water a day and i'm sure that's good but i don't know that kind of turned me off a little bit honestly because he wasn't as as uh what time? Um, pro urine, you know, he wasn't just all about. See, I hardly even drink water anymore. I, I, yeah. I mean, I'll drink. I, I, I think do he a is. little bit, but I think he is. But I think at the time when that came out, because I've listened to quite a few things of his, and he is a real right. advocate for urine therapy. Right, absolutely. But I think yeah. at that time, because people like were just like disgusted or just repelled with horror. So right. that's why he was not pushing it, but saying, look, okay, if you can't do that, then do this. But I right. think yeah. first and foremost, he sense. is an advocate for urine therapy. I've heard him on uh, interviews, like they're quite old, uh, and, and it's like incredible. Like he, he'll, he'll talk about the distilled water, but then given the opportunity, he really wants to talk about the UT. Right, right, yeah. You know, he's very much, and he really knows his stuff. He really does. Definitely, a, yeah. I've, I've watched quite a few of his, and I think that's where I saw the doctor was on one of his oh, videos. Okay. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah. Well, so that's if anybody I'm, ever hears from him again, um, I would love to talk to that man. I'm, I'm a oh, big fan yeah. myself. Andrew Weber. Yeah, Adrian Norton Weber. Yeah. Let me oh, do amazing. If you could get him on your, you have a well, chat you with mean, him. Oh my God, I would love to do that myself.